Welcome back to HANA Basics for Developers. In the previous video, we introduced you to the concept of SQL Script Libraries, and we saw how we can create our own libraries. But SAP is using this technology as well to deliver additional functionality for the SQL Script environment as reusable built-in libraries intended for our customers and partners to consume. So let's, uh, let's take a look at an example of one of these built-in libraries and how we can utilize it from our own code. And uh, the one that we're going to want to work with um, is actually one for working with strings, being able to split and format strings. Um, so let's, uh, let's create a new procedure in which we can use the SAP library. So we'll just call this uh, split format strings and we've got the code over here prepared in advance format strings sql so we'll grab this and let's have a look at it so what you see here is we've got two output parameters um, that will have our uh, our string data, uh, the uh, the results coming out um, that, uh, uh, and then we'll have a, a table output with the uh, the product ID and the price, uh, so that we can see how we can uh, some uh, format some of the data as well. We're going to use the built-in library SQL script underscore string. So we can know that it's an SAP provided one from, uh, from the SQL script team. You know, so part of the, really part of the core language, if you will, because the uh, library name begins here with SQL script. Um, same syntax of how we reference it. You give it the name of the built-in library and then as lib. And uh, I think here, if we wanted to see this, what this SQL script string looks like, we would come over here to our uh, uh, regular connection to the database, and I would come here to, uh, I could just search libraries. Actually, I could take the uh, schemas off, and there you see all libraries. You see the SAP delivered ones are in the, in the sys uh, schema, uh, but you see some of the other ones here. Here's the SQL script sing, string. There's a synchronization library. There's a test library. There's a print formatting uh, library uh, but if we look at this string and uh, then we'll see the things that are in it now it doesn't show you the source code because these are these are built in still these are these are implemented um, in the lower level uh, libraries um, within HANA itself uh, but but what you see here is you can at least see the input and output parameters of the uh, the various different functions that are made available as part of this library okay so let's go back over to our code and see how we're going to use this library now. Um, so we're going to fill uh, a table here with some hard-coded values of a couple different product IDs and a couple different prices. And we're going to use this library. One of the functions we have is is format to table, and uh, and put that in a uh, in a string. But well, we're going to put it in a nicely formatted string, you know, so that we have uh, we're telling it basically take the product and the price from this table and format it into a nice output in a in a string format here so we'll ha we'll have a look in a minute of what that uh what that results of of this library looks like and then we're going to take here and we're going to loop over um the the standard out so for um for however many records there are and and this is some new ish uh, syntax and uh, this has been around for a couple of SPSs but a more efficient way of basically doing a, a loop at something uh, those of you who come from the ABOP world, kind of like a loop at internal table, we're saying for the index in, uh, we're saying for whatever, however many records there are in this index, starting at one, going up to the total count in this, um, in the structure, this output structure, uh, this table structure, and then do the following, you know, do this block once for each record that you find. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take the results that were just put together in this uh, format to table, it's put together in this string, and we're going to say split it at the uh, at the comma. So you know we're putting it together with one uh, with one function, taking it back apart with the other. Of course, we wouldn't have to do that. We had it in separate parts, but this is just to demonstrate uh, two of the 
uh, of the features of this particular library and, and then we're and we're putting it back into a, a structured table for our output um, uh, once again you know we already had it in a structured uh, format we're seeing how we can take it from a string and put it back into a, a structured format okay uh, right with this um, we're in pretty good shape here let's uh, I have saved already let's go ahead and build this so we'll get our runtime version there we are it's done we can go back over to database Explorer I'll leave this up here where you can see um, we'll, we'll, we, so we can bounce back and forth between it. We should have three records, HT1000, 1001, 1002. Come here to our procedures. Oh, this is the wrong connection. Let's go back to our container. And then we'll see this uh, split string format. Let's do a call statement and execute that. And what we see here is result one is our is our string table. It's put it. It's taken those two. Uh, that's just this first logic, the, the format to table where we've taken two columns and we've separated them by space, one in each uh, uh, unformatted uh, string variable here. So we see the results there, our three records, and results two, that's taking this string, looping over it, or this table looping over it, and for each string record in there, splitting it back out and putting it into uh, a structured table with product ID and price. And we see that's exactly what we have here. We've, we've reassembled it. So, you know, you wouldn't, as I said, you wouldn't use these two together um, in, the, in the same function, but, you know, maybe you want to create an export of, of formatted data, you know, put it in a text tab delimited or, or CSV format. You could do that easily with, uh, uh, with uh, this function. We don't have to worry about converting, you know, data types. Here we've got uh, price, which is a decimal type. We don't have to worry about converting it to nvarchar to put it out into the string or anything. That's all happening automatically by the format to table. Vice versa, we might have strings coming in that were imported from a file that were text tab delimited or something, and we can easily split those back apart and put them into structured uh, structured variables and 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 uh, internal tables maybe for inserting into the database then. So very helpful in the, those kinds of export and import uh, scenarios. And that's just one example of the built-in libraries. As you saw, there's a few more there, and we'll continue to build this out. Uh, as, I, as I said in the previous exercise, for us at SAP, this is a faster and easier way for us to deliver new functionality than having to build it into the SQL script language itself. So I think you'll see a lot of new language features come uh, in the form of these libraries as we move forward.